Well, tonight we're hearing for the first time some of the interviews three locals did with the FDLE agents before being arrested for voter fraud. Last August, the governor's newly formed election police arrested 20 people across the state for illegally voting in the 2020 election. News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden has been following every detail of the cases, and he joins us now in studio with these new interviews. Lewis. Well, Ginger, Michelle Stribling, Peter Washington, and Jerry Foster have all filed motions to have their cases dismissed. A circuit judge dismissed Washington's case, but the state is appealing. And in these early interviews, there is a common thread. They all thought their voting rights had been restored. I heard on the news and it said the governor blessed him. 72 year old Jerry Foster told FDLE agents he was aware that Amendment 4 restored the voting rights for some with felony convictions. The agent pressed for more. But you knew that sex offenders and convicted murderers could not do it, but you signed anyway? Because no, I didn't know that. I thought it was for everyone. In 2010, Foster was sentenced to one year and one month in prison after being convicted of a felony sex crime, which means his rights, like someone convicted of murder, are not automatically restored by Amendment 4. I guess I was just too excited. I can vote now. Great. And I found out when I got the letter from supervisor of election. Foster was allowed to register to vote and had already voted in the November 2020 election. When he got this letter from the supervisor of elections office saying they had received documentation from the state that indicates he has been convicted of a felony and his civil rights had not been restored. I felt bad after I found out I was wrong. I wouldn't even attempt to do it if I didn't know I was right. Foster told the officer it was his first time voting. It was also Peter Washington's. Like I said, this is my first time ever voting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure out what did what happened where, where I went wrong. Washington told FDLE after getting three jury summons in the mail, after being allowed to register to vote and the state sending him a voting ID, he thought his rights had been restored. He also said he and his wife asked an election worker to verify his status. She said, uh, is he registered? She said, yes. She looked on the computer, uh -huh. pulled up my name and everything. And it came up. Orange County Supervisor of Elections Bill Cowles later told News 6 his office was not notified by the state Washington was ineligible to vote until December of 20. But the election was in November and Washington had already voted. Michelle Stribling indicated to officers she also thought her rights had been restored. Did you check that you were a convicted felon? I used to be one, but I'm not one anymore. You're not a convicted felon? No. Why not? I was in prison. Right. I did my time. Okay. You're still labeled as a convicted felon. Stribling told officers she checked the box on her voting registration form that says she is not a convicted felon or her rights have been restored because she wasn't sure what it said. Did you remember seeing that on the application? I can't read that well. You can't read that I well? I can't read and write that well. Michelle Stribling and Jerry Foster both have hearings scheduled for this month. Of course, we will continue to follow this. Madden Gentry. Lewis, thank you.